G'day, I'm Bernie, and we're back for some more caravan tips for newbies, number three. So here we are, we're set up today. Um, we're down at Yamba in northern New South Wales. Beautiful weather, summer day, summer break. Um, so we're just gonna cover a couple of things now that we're set up. The first thing is the barbecue. So a lot of people will have a portable barbecue. This is a Ziggy. A lot of people have the Webbers, the baby baby cues. Um, but just a couple of things with the barbecue. When you get your caravan, chances are you're gonna have a gas bayonet, which is this plug here, which you can put your barbecue straight into. Now, the only thing with that is that the rules have recently changed. And now, it's not actually legal to run your barbecue directly off your caravan unless you've got a barbecue with what's called a flame safe device. Now they only come on the new Webers and the new Ziggies. So if you've got an older barbecue, it's actually not compliant. So what we actually do is we just run it off the gas cylinder. But what we do do is we untake the gas cylinder off the caravan and sit it beside the barbecue because apparently the rule is that you're not allowed to have it to a fixed caravan. Now, I don't know why they changed it, and a lot of people have been doing it for years, and many still doing it, and it's up to whoever wants to do it. But all I'm saying is that it's not actually legal if you haven't got a flame safe. Anyway, next we've got the Annie flat kits. So, we've spoken about these before, but what I'll do is just show you how easy these are to put on. So all you do is you get them out and you basically just slot it in here like that and then you just simply fit this into the bracket on the van like so and then you just slide it out so the pin goes into the pre-drilled hole here. Now, if you purchase your anti-flap kit with the van, they'll actually drill the holes and they'll put the mounting brackets on the van for you. If you don't and you purchase it after, you're gonna have to do that yourselves. So anyway, once you've got it done up, all you do is you just tension it up, screw it up, and then all that happens is that this just grabs into the awning and clips down. So it just grabs it. Really easy to put on. And there we go, all done. Now what you can see there is what it's doing, it's keeping the side of the awning tight so that it's not gonna flap in the breeze. Now the other thing that you get when you get your anti-flap kit is you get these middle bars as well, or these beams. These are great because what they do is that they help tension the awning so it doesn't sag, and it helps stop the water pooling if it rains. Now, I think this is an 18 foot awning, so we've got two crossbars. If you want any bigger, you probably want to have three. Um, they're about 100 bucks each when you buy them as part of the anti-flap kit, so well worth doing because they will support your awning um, and they will stop that water from pooling as well. Ground mats. Get yourself a good ground mat. This is a good rubber one. Really good because it just lets all the dirt and water fall through. And then also, you can have a nice mat like this that sits over it. Now, this one's actually made from recycled soft drink bottles. Now, you can get these at a lot of beachside markets. A lot of the hippies sell them at the markets. Um, they're really good because they don't go mouldy and you can hose them off, they can get wet, they don't stain. They're just about bulletproof and they're really, really comfortable to have around the van as well. My wife uh, puts a bit of water in the bucket there. It's really good if you get back, you just dip your feet in and all the sand gets off before you get in the van. So it stops it from getting all grubby and stuff like that. Screen. Now we haven't got a full annex set up. What we've got is we've just got the privacy screens. So these are good, they're lighter weight. They're not fully enclosed, but they're enough to keep the breeze out and also the rain if it's raining. So this one here, I actually got this from Aldi, 29 bucks. And it's really good, it's um, good weight and it stops the rain from coming in. And it just slides on a sail rail into the groove that's already in your awning. 
So you just slide it on, peg it out, and you're done. This one over here at the end is a bit different. It's sort of fitted to go with the uh, slope of the awning, and it actually slides in the sail rail, which is on the anti-flap kit. So we've got this one from Camp Smart. Camp Smart do really good screens. It's the extra drop, it's called, so it, it makes sure it gives you that extra drop to go to the ground. They do a variety of sizes. I think that one's about 79 bucks. Well worth the while. So anyway, that's about it. Um, hopefully that's good news for you. Happy holidays. Yeah! Ooh.